passion, creativity, fellowship, and friends. The Perfect Mix. Starring Mr. PC, Sam Betty, Chris Brack, and introducing Alex Wilburn. Brought to you in part by The Common Chef presents Operation Delicious. The Common Chef is about a group of friends with no culinary training but they love the fellowship that food, fun, and family can create. They will travel to your house and cook for you. Baseball, apple pie, and Chevrolet is all American, but these things wouldn't mean a thing without those who defend our freedom to love this great country. We at The Common Chef see our troops for the heroes that they are. Since time began, warriors have risen to the occasion. What was their cause? Without question, they are the model of honor. Freedom was their answer. For over 230 years, they have defended us. They do miss the comforts of home. There are those who watch out for our soldiers. Operation Shoebox devotes hundreds of hours to comfort our troops. Visit OperationShoebox.com to find out how you can show our soldiers exactly how America feels about them. We start off at the Ocala Farm Market as we prepare for our Christmas episode with Doc G and Operation Shoebox. The appetizer, a homemade fondue in a bread bowl. A bacon-infused ham with pineapple, honey, brown sugar, and rum glaze. Baked oysters with onion, garlic, fresh lime, lemon, and seasonings. A juicy fruit-stuffed turkey cooked to perfection with turkey gravy made from scratch. Pan-fried green beans with all the fixings topped with copious amounts of bacon. A sweet potato casserole that stole the show. Garlic smashed potatoes. Apple pie casserole topped with brownie lollipops. It was a feast for the ages and an honor to share it with some of America's finest. All right here, right now on The Common Chef. Episode seven of The Common Chef. Here we are at the Ocala Farm Market once again. And this episode we're doing with Dr. Hugh Harris who is a dentist here in town, if you don't know, and if, if you need your teeth done, you need to go see Dr. G, Dr. G, we call him Dr. G. But anyway, we're gonna do, and we're also gonna be doing the episode with the, the founders of Operation Shoebox and some vets. We're gonna cook them an awesome holiday meal, are we not? Supporting the troops with some good food. Right Absolutely. here in Ocala. And check this out, Sunshine Air Conditioning gave us shopping bags so that when we're getting all this awesome food at the farm market, we can put, uh, Product place, we can. That's right. Oh, don't. That's a secret. You're not supposed to tell people. You're supposed to sneak up on them and hit them over the head. And here's one more thing. Just a, an odd, interesting fact. At any given time, 0.7 percent of the population is hammered. Wow. Yeah. I figured it'd be more than that. I don't. I wonder who the guy that, who, who uh, figured that out. He's like, let me count all the people at any given time who's hammered. But anyway, that is the statistic. So I wonder if he got hammered while he was doing the counting. Probably. I mean, he'd have to. How much garlic do you think? Always a lot of garlic. I mean, I would just get... Too sweet. I mean, and that way, you know why garlic's important? It not only does it keep vampires away, but it cleans out your... I mean, it, it, it does... It's a, it's a it detox, is it not? I need garlic. And Plus, it tastes good. Check out this honey, man. This local, local honey, pure raw honey, and it's gonna be perfect for the ham. We've actually got our own bags this time. Check this out. I'm here with Mel from Chunky Chocolate, and we are very excited about what we are going to use this for. Chris is making a sweet potato casserole. We're going to take these chocolate brownie lollipops and crumble them over the top of the of the sweet potato casserole. That is the purpose, but we wanted to talk to Mel a little bit about Chunky Chocolate, so tell me about it. 
Well, Chunky Chocolate was started with my daughter, Sierra, when she was a little girl, and she wanted me to be a stay-at-home mom. So she asked me, well, what do you like to do? I like chocolate. So then we started Chunky Chocolate Brownie Lollipops, and it's actually a brownie dipped in chocolate. And then I rolled in great things like pecans, dark chocolate Andy's Mints, white chocolate coconut, anything you name it. I'll dip a brownie in it and dip it in chocolate and roll it. Well, they are delicious, and I think they're... Uh well, they're maybe not low in calories. I'm just kidding. But they are very, very good. <laughs> I love those things. And I am very excited about putting it on top of one of our dishes in the next episode of The Common Chef. Now, you you actually watch the show, correct? Uh, yes, I do. I learned some great tips and some great recipes from you guys. <laughs> well, I appreciate that. Um, you don't, No need to be really nice to us, but thank you. <laughs> anyway, uh, yeah, so... I'm looking forward to using it, and we'll check back in with you next time we are at the farm market shopping for episode eight. How's that? That's great. And tell you how it is. Okay, great. Thank you. For over two decades, Sunshine Air Conditioning has been delivering services so good, you'll actually tell your friends about it. They've won the prestigious President's Award from Carrier three years in a row. For all your heating and air needs, visit sunshineac.com. So here we are at Doc G's house, getting ready for our fabulous meal with the founders of Operation Shoebox. I think some vets are showing up too. And uh, we're going to have an incredible holiday meal today. Believe it or not, even though it's 70 degrees, today is uh, mid, it is mid-December. Mid-December. What is it, 12th or 13th? 13th. 13th of December. Um, unfortunately, Sam Betty came up with came down with the not quite strep throat, but he's sick today. About that close away from being strep throat. Right. So he's on antibiotics, but he couldn't be here for this episode. Oh, all right. I'll tell you the truth. The truth is, is that him and I got into a fight because he thinks I should be wearing a hairnet on my chest. Might not be a bad idea. <laughs> <laughs> no, just kidding. Uh, He's... Is that Angela Davis? <laughs> <laughs> He's sick today, so it's going to come down to me and Chris, but we do have another friend, Alex, who's going to show up and lend us a hand so that uh, because we, we are common chefs and we've got a big meal and we need lots of help. Not only that, but we want to do a great job for Operation Shoebox. I mean, they really take care of our troops. Yes. Collecting uh, items all through the year, nice um, things that make our troops who are all the way across the world fighting for our freedoms, uh, making sure that they have just a little bit of the small comforts that we take for granted every day. That's absolutely right. And Doc G loves Operation Shoebox, huge supporter. So he's asked us to come over to his awesome house and cook this incredible meal while I will now give you the truck full of ingredients that we'll be making this incredible meal out of. There's uh, gonna be turkey. Ham, turkey, oysters, smashed potatoes, sweet apple potato pie casserole. casserole. Oh man, it's unbelievable. And green beans with bacon. Dr. Gluharif is a pillar in the community and his gorgeous kitchen is perfect for putting on this immaculate meal. Look at that spread, the Ocala Farm Market rocks! Doc G's just about to save us because there's no ice and we can't make a drink without him showing up so we're excited to see him here shortly. Hey, Doc G. Doc G. Hey, Doc. Doc, we wanted, to, we wanted to thank you for inviting us into your home. Oh, wow. And therefore, we have a little surprise for you. Sweet, a check for $10 million? <laughs> <laughs> Look at it. We're almost there. But we, I thought the, oh. we were bringing the good stuff. Bottle of 12 year McCallum, baby. You know, I would go, I've never had McCallum. <gasps> That's the best scotch out there. One of the best. Wow. Sweet! You're gonna like that. Sweet! Oh my goodness gracious! It's Alex! It's Alex! Did someone do? I, I, we were just thinking, boy, we wish Alex was here to help us pull this meal off. It was weird. I was just in the neighborhood, strangely enough. That is crazy. Actually, oh. this is this is the Alex we were talking about earlier. He's gonna help us pull this dish together because we need all the help we can get. All hands are on deck. We are on fire. Two of them right here and I've just made this awesome fruit stuffing. It's got pomelo, grapefruit, oranges, apples, pears, and grapes. Take a look at that right in there. Now what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna stuff it inside of the turkey. I'm glad you remember the name of that fruit. Pomelo. Pomelo? Yeah. Now, something that goes overlooked and when most people cook a turkey is the very first step. Before you deal with the turkey, you have to do this. 
you just gotta give it a slap. Just, just so it knows who's boss. The whole show's just gonna be like, beep, 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 beep. And then you do this to the target. Beep, 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 beep. Ladybug. All the vegetables in here, we've got garlic and carrots and potatoes and onions. And we're gonna go ahead and put some olive oil lightly over the top and then we're gonna sprinkle it with some herbs, some fresh herbs. And right now we're slow cooking this turkey at 300, probably 275 for a couple hours. And just really let it get moist and then we're gonna kick it up to finish off the turkey. So we're very excited. This chicken broth, about 40 ounces of chicken broth, it's 13 pound turkey in the bottom of this roaster. It'll be so juicy when we're done, promise. With over 1.4 million page views a month, Ocala for Sale has all the online traffic you'll need to buy or sell your goods or services. From real estate to a new boat grill, you've got it all at your fingertips. Now what we're doing here is we're making the glaze for our ham. Of course, a healthy bit of uh, this fine beverage right here, some pineapple, and a healthy portion of brown sugar. I would tell you what kind of brown sugar, but they, uh, they didn't pay to be a sponsor, so I'm not going to give them a shout out. This ham dish we dedicate to PETA, people for the eating of tasty animals. We took a huge ham butt and threaded bacon through it using a lard needle. It can be cumbersome, but well worth it. The bacon actually disintegrates and melts directly into the inside of the ham. You know. Doc, how long have you been doing dentistry work here in Ocala? 26 years. 26 years. I remember the first time I went to Doc G's place, I had gone to another dentist in town because I did, you know, and the guy was massacring me trying to get a root canal. The guy was massacring me and I, I called Doc up and I said, Doc, I need help. So I came down there and uh, he fixed up my tooth. And ever since, that's where I've been going, Doc G. And matter of fact, everybody in town swears by you. If you go up on uh, Google or something and search for Dr. Blue Hair, all the health grades are going to be five star. 10 star. Now here's something new. We took the bacon infused ham and wrapped it with more bacon. Did you, oh wait, oh, uh, oh. You guys have some, you guys have to connect. You got some things to do here. Come with me, my friend. <laughs> I shall take you on a delicious journey. One thing when I see, you know, what do you think when you see this? Bam, bread bowl, that's what I'm thinking. Real popular, real easy. Also, a real dense bread, real hard bread, it can hold it. This is good for um, dips, for soups. We got a, a half pound of the sharp white cheddar cheese grated, mixed in with about um, a pound of sour cream, about eight ounces of cream cheese, um, one chopped up nice, beautiful pepper. And we're gonna add a little bit of Worcestershire sauce. And as soon as I can locate some bacon, we'll add a little bit of bacon to this. Bacon! Bacon! Take a good look at that bread. Good seasoning, herbs, everything in there. It's gonna be great. Awesome hors d'oeuvre just to get the belly ready, the gastrointestinal system good for a great dinner. I told you we can't use big words like this, son. <laughs> It'll make your belly feel good. <laughs> trying to ruin the show with all that fancy talk. Fancy talk. <laughs> I thought the show was pretty good until that cut. That college boy got on there. <laughs> a couple of pieces of hard fried up bacon oh, crumbled here. into our mixture. We're gonna mix that up. Sorry. And I think the last thing we might add in is a little bit of portobello mushroom, and then we're gonna get ready to stuff wow. the bread bowl and put it in the oven and get ready to cook. We toasted the insides of the bread bowl with a little olive oil for dripping. Bake the bread bowl at 350 degrees for 45 minutes. SAP Cable Advertising offers some very affordable solutions. With over 19,000 households along the 200 corridor and South 441 and 301, you can get your message out with a targeted effort. Contact the Common Chef for sponsorship and marketing bundles on SAP Cable Advertising. What we have in here are sweet potatoes, some butter, a couple eggs, nutmeg, and cinnamon. I'm gonna smash this all up, make it nice and really creamy, and put it into a dish. 
And then in a little bit, we're gonna be putting on a candy pecan top to it. It's gonna be good. So what I'm doing now is I'm making the topping for the sweet potato casserole. It's got some butter, some cinnamon, nutmeg, some brown sugar, and just a pinch, just a little bit of flour to kind of, kind of help it all come together. I'm gonna to sprinkle it over the top of this thing. And then I'm gonna put the pecans right on top of this. So when it all cooks down, it's gonna cook for about an hour in a 350 degree oven. The pecans are gonna get infused with all this and it's gonna create a candy right on top. Perhaps have another cocktail. What I'm gonna do with the oysters, since Sam was gonna make a stuffing, I've decided to go a different route. I'm gonna make, I'm gonna bake the oysters and so I'm gonna put some, I'm gonna juice some onion, uh, I'm gonna juice some limes and some lemons, mixed with some fish sauce, some soy sauce, and some seasonings, some onions and some garlic in a casserole dish. Then I'm gonna bake it for about 20 minutes. Don't let Chris see the crazy salt. He'll go crazy. Talk about your pecan. Oh! <laughs> Josh wants me to talk about my nuts. So what we have here is not the finished product. It's a finished wait, product. Wait, wait, wait. Do you like nuts? I like pe pecans. Okay. And almonds, pistachios. So you do like nuts? I'm a, I'm a fan of certain kinds of nuts. Um, so this is a sweet potato casserole pre-oven. Um, sorry, I've seen it. You all right now? So what we have here is the pre-finished product of the sweet potato casserole. You got the sweet potato, you can actually see the layers. If you look at it right there. Take four. So what's gonna happen is in about 45 minutes, we're gonna stuff this into the oven uh, for about an hour. 350 degrees and it's going to take all the the crumbling of the, the the cinnamon and the nutmeg and the butter and it's going to infuse in with all those pecans and make a nice little candied layer on top. I'm really looking forward to that. And that's our coach time for. <laughs> it's time to roll. <laughs> My work here is done. With over 1.4 million page views a month, Ocala for Sale has all the online traffic you'll need to buy or sell your goods or services. From real estate to a new boat grill, you've got it all at your fingertips. So, Doc G, tell us a little bit about Operation Shoebox and why you love it so much, why you're involved with it. Operation Shoebox was started by Mary and Ron Harper, uh, two local people here in, actually in Bellevue, and during the first uh, Iraq war, um, they had five of their children all deployed at the same time in Iraq. And they were constantly emailing back, uh, Mom, can you send me this? Daddy, can you send me that? And they would send it in a shoebox. How I became involved was the soldiers were started asking, how do you get Gatorade over here? And uh, there was an, uh, an article in the paper about Operation Shoebox, and they needed uh, toothbrushes. And I saw the article, so I called Mrs. Harper at the time, and I said, how many do you need? She said, all you can get. So I contacted Colgate and Crest, my uh, suppliers of toothbrushes, and delivered 8,000 toothbrushes to her. Whatever they needed something, they would come to me and ask. And I was more than happy to help them because I'm a big fan of our troops. And the reason we're able to do this show and everything else is Absolutely. because of their courage and their dedication to this country and giving up uh, valuable time with their families to defend us. And it's the least I can do. 
Thalitha's gonna actually do her rendition of some awesome mashed potatoes. Exactly what is your plan? I, I'm making it as we're speaking because I just heard about the mashed potatoes, so here we go. <laughs> see how awesome that is? That's the way common chefs roll. Just come right on in and make it happen. You see what ingredients there are and say, I'm gonna use that, 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 and it'll be good. This is Mary Harper and her beloved husband, Ron, the founders of Operation Shoebox. And what an honor it is to be here. What I got is some onions, some uh, garlic, some ginger, some jalapenos. I'm gonna make a little saute for the base for these green beans. And since we have so many, I have to do it two times over, baby. But I can roll hardcore. And before it's all over, the answer is yes, there will be some ratchet. For over two decades, Sunshine Air Conditioning has been delivering services so good, you'll actually tell your friends about it. They've won the prestigious President's Award from Carrier three years in a row. For all your heating and air needs, visit sunshineac.com. Crazy songs! Crazy songs! Crazy songs! We actually hid the crazy salt from Chris for the rest of the evening. Uh, yeah, that's the really gravy, dude. So Taste the piece. So that the, oh. Is it good? Are you yeah. happy with it? Yeah. There's a common chef. A year before Bush left office, he signed into law that they couldn't be over there more than 12 Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Now, yeah, that's so hard. Hard. oh yeah. Put that on some taters. That's hardcore right there. there. We got that. Put that on some taters. Linda <laughs> Edwards, and this is Lotus. Yes. <laughs> How are you? I love the common chef. First, we want to uh, say thank you so much to the folks at Operation Shoebox and, of course, Doc G for hosting us this evening. Uh, we are honored to serve you. So, would you like to say grace for us, Chris? Absolutely. At The Common Chef, we always take time to thank God for His grace and hand of providence. We also gave thanks for our troops because without them, nights like this would not be possible. Let me tell you, these boys can eat. In fact, everyone ate incredibly well. And that makes us at The Common Chef very satisfied. Main thing is, on a scale of 1 to 10. 10. Ten. Ten. Very definitely. 20. 20. We got a 20. PC, we got a 20 in here. It's outstanding. It's fantastic. I like the food. I like the camaraderie. Can't beat the cause. They have a big warehouse where they bring stuff and package it up and have helpers do it. But Mary puts in probably 100 hours a week. And I'm just glad to see her enjoy herself. That's important to me. Because she's doing it for everybody else. She needs to enjoy it herself. And ask for nothing in return. She's probably the most, she and her husband are probably the most humble people I've ever met. They're just good down to earth people. Wish there was a whole lot more of them like that in the world. Oh wow. That's very good. I've never had sweet potato casserole. That was That's good. awesome. That's yeah, absolutely that was awesome. awesome. Hello, I'm Mr. PC, and now we are going to interview Mary, one of the founders of Operation Shoebox. And I have to tell you, I, I saw th the first time I heard about it was on Bill O'Reilly, and then I saw that Doc G was all over this thing. And then he shared with us a little earlier exactly how much uh, he's been involved and told us a little bit about the story of how you guys started uh, sending boxes, shoeboxes of things to your children who were deployed overseas, and then it just turned into this really incredible operation to support our troops and to just give them some some comforts of home. So I want to ask you a little bit about, how, you know, your thoughts starting it up and kind of how it came into being and where you are now. Well, not all of our kids, but five of them were deployed overseas and we were kind of going crazy. So we, we found an outlet and that was to support the other troops. Our daughter told us that they were doing out without a lot of stuff over there. So um, we decided to do this to try to help the troops over there out. So um, it's really important to support those who support us. When you think about it, they are um, putting their life on the line. Some of them may not come home. And what we do is so little for them 
in comparison to what they do for us. They sacrifice every day. Um, they give up a lot of things that we take for granted. Some, these are a lot of young kids over there between the ages of 19 and 23. So, you know, they don't really realize what they're getting into when they get over there as far as, you know, there is no PX right around the corner for them to buy the things that they need. So what we do is, you know, not only give them the items that they can use, but we also tell them that, you know, people back home do care that they're over there, that we do support them, that, you know, what they do mean a lot to us. And, you know, this is just our way of showing that, yes, people really do care. And in the Christmas season, we send Christmas stockings and we actually just finished 45,000 stockings to go over for the troops. So when you think about the holiday season, it's a known fact that um, people get depressed during that time of year for what, a lot of re different reasons. Well, put yourself in a war zone in a country where people hate you, away from your family and friends. And, you know, it's a mixture for a little bit of depression and being down in the dumps. So, you know, just a little holiday cheer, a handwritten letter in a stocking that says, you know, you're not forgotten, that we do, you know, support you, we're behind you, we care about you, we care that you're over there. So what we do is so little. This is so little in comparison to what they do. And we need to take care of them because they take care of us. Well, I wanted to ask you now, when you send these packages over, 45,000 you say you sent this holiday season, it just goes out to anonymous soldiers no. or how, do, how does that work? Uh, the soldiers actually, they sign up through our website, operationshoebox.com, and it could be the soldiers themselves, or it could be a family member, or it could be their, you know, a platoon leader or a, you know, commander that's looking out for his younger soldiers. And they come into us through the website. We try to send to units versus individuals, but we will send to an individual. We don't discriminate against anybody. We send to all branches. Anybody that's reaching out for support, we're there for them. Okay, so let's say it's someone out there watching this on TV or on the internet and they say, boy, I want to support Operation Shoebox. What kind of things are you looking for and how can people help? Well, the way that people can help, there's a lot of things that people can do, but the most important thing that goes in our care packages is a handwritten letter. And we're always looking for, think about we sent 45,000 Christmas stockings and every one of them had a handwritten card in it. So that is a really big thing that people can do to help us is to write letters to the troops out there. And also, of course, we do look for monetary support because our postage bill is so high. Um, in last year, we spent over 200,000 in the post office. So it, it's a big, nut to crack so to speak well god bless you merry christmas and thanks so much for everything that you do oh, we love you guys dinner was awesome thank you so much and i wish the troops could have some of your dinner because they would probably really love it it was fantastic what's more american than apple pie apple pie common chef style we are signing off for this evening i believe it was a success first i need to say thanks to alex came in, saved the day, prepped, Thank came up you. with a dish all on the spot, a pressure, that's what a common hey, chef is about. That's what I do. Diamonds are forged with a lot of pressure and a lot of heat, and that's what I do well with. Well, we appreciate you stopping by, and come and see us next time at The Common Chef. Visit us online at commonchef.com. Check out our Facebook page and our YouTube channel.